office. Uh, let's talk about the Doc River swindle that happened this week. Uh, the fucking Milwaukee Bucks have fired uh, Adrian Griffin out of after a 30 and 13 start. Uh, you know, this is something that reminded me of the David Black firing, which is like it was eight years ago at this point. Uh, which you know that team was just as successful um, as this current Bucks team roster, I mean, uh, record wise. But there's two different ways I look at this. One, I don't have a problem with Adrian Griffin being fired because I don't, I don't have a problem with it because he lost the locker room. He lost the locker room. When you lose the locker room, it's 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 just you know DOA. There's nothing you can do there. Um, this is something where as soon as he started, he faced you know trouble. You know we all know the incident that happened with him and Terry Stotts. You know we all know just how terrible this defense is looking. We know they don't have the best defensive players. That's gonna happen when we trade a guy of Drew Holiday's caliber. But they just the, the effort wasn't there more than anything. And if Giannis don't want you there, you're pretty much gone. And I do think that this is something where I actually applaud the Bucks for getting it done and, you know, uh, nipping it in the bud right now because you want to be able to keep Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard did not sign the extension. Um, I'm pretty sure his contract is up in like a year or two, if I'm not mistaken. Don't call me on that. Like three years. But three years. But, you know, we all know in the NBA there's the, you know, if, if nigga gets riled up. You know, there's that too. And also Giannis also told these niggas, do not get it twisted. I will reevaluate where I stand with y'all every offseason. So you also have that. So I give them credit for actually doing the job of letting go of Agent Griffin. Here's the problem I have. One, the guy you picked up. First of all, I got to respect Doc Rivers. Chicago Maywood legend. Uh, the fact that he has um squeezed everything out of that one championship he won 16 years not 16 years ago not just him kevin garnett paul paul pierce as much as i think paul pierce is great I've, i'm a paul pierce guy but he talks like he is Dwayne wade sometimes because of that one championship they won so i salute him that he is the only black coach in the nba with white privilege doc rivers so i will give him credit for that but this is not gonna be the niggas gonna get you over over the hump He's just not. We saw what he did with the Clippers. We saw what he did last year with the with the, with the Sixers. He has a problem when it comes to actually getting the job done at those type of moments. And I don't feel like this is going to be anything that's going to change. And also, I need them to stand on what they're standing on. Don't be going out here and saying, oh, it had nothing to do with the locker room. And we love them. And Giannis is up there. Oh, yeah, I, I, I love Adrian Griffin, like stuttering and shit. Like, nigga, you're lying. We, we know exactly that there was a locker room issue. Just go out there and tell the truth about the situation. He's already gone, and just just be real with it. So that's just kind of how I feel with it. I don't really think this is going to be something that's going to change the landscape too much because, like I said, they are the number two team in the Eastern Conference. Um, but I also feel like this is Doc Rivers' last shot. It only, you know, your lifeline only, you know, goes so long. Even with a guy like Doc Rivers, if he can't get it done here, then shit. He might be back in the booth in like a couple years, but he has also his contract. He has a, a four season contract for $40 million for Doc Rivers. A good thing for NBA fans. We don't have to hear this nigga talk on ESPN anymore, which I thoroughly am going to enjoy. Uh, but Pav, what's your thought on, you know, just Doc Rivers swindling another job and this whole move by the Bucks? My thought on this is first and foremost, I feel bad for Adrian Griffin. I feel bad for Adrian Griffin because Adrian Griffin did not get a fair shot. Um, number one, every number one coach Bud shouldn't have been fired. That's first and foremost, coach Bud. I think coach Bud being fired was a gross overreaction to their loss in the, um, first round for one. The last time the Bucks had a healthy basketball team, they won a championship. If you look at every single year since they won a championship, the next year, Middleton get hurt against the Bulls. His knee he sprains the MCL, does whatever. Goes in the offseason, has surgery. He's not right the whole entire next year. He's not right. You go into the playoffs. Granted, Giannis was on the court, but he did fall out the fucking sky and bruise his tailbone <laughs> and miss two games. Now, granted, Jimmy Butler was going nuclear on Drew Holiday. But my question is, why is Drew Holiday, who is a guard, having to guard Jimmy Butler, who was a forward, in the first place? Mm -hmm. And also, this Miami Heat team was in the Eastern Conference Finals last year. I know they had a down season, but that's the same team that went to the finals, the Eastern Conference Finals, the year before. Now, if you would have lost to the Bulls, fire <laughs> everyone. You need to fire people, trade people, Everybody got to go because that shouldn't happen. But this Miami Heat team, 
Granted, you got two all stars on the team. You got Kyle Lowry, maybe future Hall of Famer. Um, um, Kyle Lowry. You got Spolstra. Like this ain't this wasn't some terrible franchise. So I thought firing Bud in the first place was a gross overreaction. Then you bring in Adrian Griffin, who was a rookie coach. Yeah. He's never been a head coach before at any level. Literally, I'm on Wikipedia looking at it. Milwaukee Bucks assistant in 2010. Chicago Bulls assistant. Orlando Magic assistant. Oklahoma City Thunder assistant. Toronto Raptors assistant. At least with Nick Nurse, if I'm not mistaken, when the Raptors hired Nick Nurse, number one, didn't nobody on that team. Nick Nurse was like, Giannis wanted. No, that's no, no, Nick Nurse, no, Giannis didn't want Nick Nurse. Oh, that's what it was. Giannis didn't want Nick Nurse. He didn't yeah. want Nick Nurse. And then he signed crazy. off on Adrian Griffin. He okay, didn't want Nick Nurse. But at least when Nick Nurse was a, when got hired by the Raptors, number one, the Raptors hadn't won a championship. So then, no, don't none of them know what it feel like to win a ring. Don't none of them know. And Nick Nurse had been a head coach before. At least he'd been a head coach at a certain level before. Adrian Griffin had never been a head coach. So you come into a situation with a team who won a championship with the same core still being there. It's not like they won a ring and then broke the whole – it's not like if you go and coach the Raptors where everybody who won that ring is gone. No, the same course – it was just two years ago. Like, I know yeah. we I, I know we like that. Like, it was just two years ago. So he comes into this situation, and then Giannis wanted him, and I feel like Giannis never gave him the respect as a coach. Like, I'm looking at timeouts. Giannis sitting on the damn scores table. What the <laughs> fuck? Like, literally, Aiden Griffin in the huddle. Like, go back and watch the NCAA tournament. Aiden Griffin in the huddle trying to call a play. Giannis sitting on the scores table. Giannis checking himself back in games. What? 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 You making the job hard for the man. Like, he can't even – now, granted, I'm, I'm sure, you know, he was still learning, trying to figure it all out. The same way players need to develop, coaches need to um develop too. Also, when he got signed, Drew Holiday was still on his basketball team. They hadn't made the Dame Lillard trade yet. So, Giannis, you going up there complaining about the defense. Have you looked at the personnel? You got <laughs> Dame Lillard and, and, and fucking Malik Beasley in your backcourt. Who are you yeah. going to guard? Who are yeah. like – you got to know more about basketball than me. You play it every day. Who are you about to guard? Brooke Lopez. Shout <laughs> out Brooke Lopez. I love Brooke Lopez. That brother, 36 years old. Gee, he ain't got much longer to do this. Like, yeah. just look at the personnel that you actually have on the on, on the on the um team. Like, and then the offense was the offense was still fine, but you mad about the defense, and it had only been a half a season. Now, granted, having said all of that, I do think he needed to be fired because there was no possible way he was going to be able to garner the respect of that locker room. Like I said, he's a rookie head coach, and everybody there think they know more about basketball than he do because they just won a championship, at least with Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers is – we can say what we want to say about Doc he's Rivers. Respected. He's a yeah. Hall of Fame coach. I think he's yeah. 30 wins all time. He yeah. has – he has he has won a um championship like he been he been milking that ring forever but that ring is probably one of the more significant rings of the last thirty years and I do think that that ring put us into a new era of um basketball which is why it's so um significant and talked about to this um day but he's he's done all that and again no matter what you want to say you may say he don't finish the job but at least Doc Rivers always has teams that are in contention you ain't gonna never see a Doc Rivers team that at least ain't contending. Now, nah, they may fuck it all up, but at yeah. least they're going there and they are contending. I don't think he's going to come in there and, like, do something more magical than what Adrian Griffin did. I think the main thing that he'll do is respect. I guarantee you, Giannis ain't going to check himself back in no games with Doc on the side. Yeah, that yeah, shit not going to happen. I yeah. bet, I bet Giannis ain't going to be sitting on the uh, scores table with Doc on the sidelines. That shit ain't going to happen. So I think that's the main thing that he will do. Um I so from that standpoint, I like the hiring. I don't think he gonna come in there and do some incredible scheme wise. Because like, what you really gonna do? I mean, right. I guess maybe you go back to the drop coverage thing, the way that they were uh, playing defense before they did switch the defensive tendencies a little bit. But at the same time, you probably lost the best defensive player, so you probably got to do that. But I guess all that being said, I like the hiring. Um, I just think that Doc will bring a certain level of respect to the locker room that Adrian Griffin just wasn't able to bring. Dante, what's your thought on Doc Rivers swindling another job again? Uh, I'm tired of this nigga, man. Like, <laughs> I, I, I think somebody else should have got a shot. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's the Sam Cassell or any other well qualified assistants out there. But nah, bro. I know we talk about getting respect from the players, and I do get that. I understand, but 
no, I, I, I think we should be done with the Doc experience. I love Doc. You know, I think he, like you said, he is a Hall of Fame coach that goes without saying, say what you want. But, I mean, when you look at the amount of game seven failures, the amount of three one blown leads like this coach has had repeatedly, you feel me? Um, yes, you have a talented roster, but there were so many other ways you could have went. But to go for the Doc Rivers, I mean, it's, it's like you said, he's one of the few brothers. But I think it's because he's a former player. That's that's part of the reason he gets that. Yeah, way. part he's of in, it. We he's in. He's that in that. Yeah. That nigga be he, in. He's in that. He's in that. In that. That NBA inner sanctum, and he's been there for a while. So I mean, shout out to him for keeping a job. One of the realest things he ever did was give his weak ass son that extension that he didn't deserve. That kept him in the league. Saved his you know, career. Saved his career, and that was his son. And they're like, "Why he do that, nigga? That was my child. I would have did the same thing. Fuck y'all." Like I got the bag, signed this contract, but no, they they shouldn't have done this. I think you know they have the talent to overcome Doc's deficiencies, but it's not gonna happen, bro. Yeah, man, I, I'm with y'all. Y'all hit the nail on the head on that. If anything, I do feel like just off the respect and just the locker room vibes, it'll help a lot. I mean, these niggas did a whole fucking dance routine, and the fucking Bucks social media tweeted it out right after that. I don't know, man, anything to do with Doc. But it was just funny ass time. Then paper on his player haters old. Money on the other line, so I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line, so I'm not gonna.